transient response in series RL circuit with sinusoidal excitation. This is the RL series circuit which is excited by a sinusoidal voltage. Now let V equals to Vm sine omega t plus phi, where phi varies between 0 and 2 pi, depending upon the switching instant. Now application of KVL at t equals to 0 plus after the switch is closed gives us Ri plus L di by dt equals to Vm sine omega t plus phi. Dividing with L, the entire equation will be getting di by dt plus R by Li equals to Vm by L sine omega t plus phi. This we can write as t plus R by L of i equals to Vm by L sine omega t plus phi. Let this be equation number 1. We know that where p represents the first derivative that d by dt. The complementary function is given by ic equals to the constant c e to the power of minus r by l of p. Equation number 2. Next we need to obtain the particular solution for the current that ip. The next solution will become i equals to ic plus ip. So let ip equals to a cos omega t plus phi plus b sine omega t plus phi. Equation number 3. Where a and b are unknown constants. Then the first derivative of ip will give us d by dt of ip is equals to a d by dt of cos omega t is nothing but minus sine omega t plus phi and when you does it with the omega t you are going to get omega plus the derivative of sine is nothing but cos omega t plus phi when it does it with omega so omega and b. Now this is nothing but p i p equals to minus a omega sine omega t plus phi plus b omega cos omega t plus phi. I am considering this i in equation number 1 as i p so that I can get the particular solution. Now this will become p i p plus r by l i p equals to Vm by L sine omega t plus phi. Now I am substituting these expressions in this equation then minus a omega sine omega t plus phi plus b omega cos omega t plus phi is pip plus r by L. Now it is a cos omega t plus phi plus b sine omega t plus phi equals to Vm by L sine omega t plus phi. Consider this as 4 and 5. Now I am separating sine and cos terms then I will be getting minus a omega plus b r by L sine omega t plus phi plus similarly cos terms b omega plus a r by L cos omega t plus phi which equals to Vm by L sine omega t plus phi. I am equating the coefficients of like terms then I will be getting minus a omega plus b r by L equals to the sine term from this side Vm by L and now the cast term here is b omega plus r by L equals to the cast term from right hand side is 0. If I solve these two equations then I am going to get the values of a and b. Now the value of a after calculation I am going to get minus omega l vm divided by r square plus omega square l square and b equals to r vm divided by r square plus omega square l square. Now substituting the values of a and b in the expression 3 I will be getting ip as minus omega l vm by r square plus omega square l square a that is cos omega t plus phi plus b is r vm by r square plus omega square l square sine omega t plus phi. This is from equation 3. Now ip equals to taking vm by r square plus omega square l square common we will be getting r sine omega t plus phi minus here omega l cos omega t plus phi. Now 
We'll write this equation that Em by r square plus omega square L square under the square root. Take one more square root inside. Square root of r square plus omega square L square sine omega t plus pi minus omega L divided by square root of r square plus omega square L square cos omega t plus pi. Now, if you can stop the right angle triangle, let this be theta and this is r and this is omega l then this will be r square plus omega square the square right from which cos theta equals to r divided by square root of r square plus omega square l square and sine theta equals to omega l divided by r square plus omega square l square and the square root and tan theta equals to omega l by r now consider this in this equation then you'll be getting IP equals to Vm by square root of R square plus omega square L square of R by this value is nothing but cos theta and this one a sine omega t plus phi minus omega L this value is sine theta multiplied by cos omega t plus theta. Let this be A and this be B. Now you can write this IP equals to Vm by root of R square plus omega square L square of sine A minus B. A is omega t plus phi minus B is theta. Now substitute the value of theta then you are going to get IP equals to Vm by square root of R square plus omega square L square of sine of omega t plus phi from this theta equals to tan inverse of omega L by R then minus tan inverse of omega L by R. Let it be equation number 5. Now, the next solution that I equals to IC plus IP. So, IC is C, eta power of minus R by L of T plus Vm by square root of IP value R square plus omega square L square of sine of omega T plus phi minus tan inverse of omega L by R. Let this be equation number 6. However, the inductance will oppose any sudden changes of current through it. As there was no current in the circuit before the switch is closed, hence I0 equals to 0. When at t equals to 0, the current I0 equals to 0, then the solution will give us 0 equals to C e to the power of minus R by L of t plus Vm by square root of R square plus omega square L square of sine omega t plus phi minus sine tan inverse of omega l by r as the t is 0 we will keep 0 instead of t in the above equation this is 0 and this is also 0 then you are going to get e to the power of 0 is 1 so 0 equals to c plus vm by square root of r square plus omega square l square of sine of omega t t is 0 so omega t is 0 then phi minus tan inverse of omega l by r. Now from which c equals to we can say that minus of this value c equals to minus of this value. Now substituting the c value in the above equation we are going to get the final current i equals to e power minus r by l of t of minus em divided by square root of r square plus omega square l square of sine of phi minus tan inverse of omega L by R plus IP term that is Vm divided by square root of R square plus omega square L square of sine of omega T plus phi minus tan inverse of omega L by R. That is equation number 7. The final part of the equation contains the exponential factor that is e to the power of minus R by L of T which becomes a 0 at a relatively short term as with increase in the term T then this term is going to reduce. The expression within the bracket depends on the value of phi, that is the instant when the switch is closed. And the second part of the equation is the steady state current which lacks the applied voltage by an angle of tan inverse of omega L by R. This is regarding the transient response in a series or a circuit with sinusoidal excitation.